Hello everyone and welcome back to Introduction to Number Theory. In this uh, video we will discuss several, actually two, applications of congruence modular n. It will be like tasks or problems. The first one, uh, let n be an arbitrary positive integer uh, and consider the number 2 to the power of n minus 3. We will prove that 2 to the power of n minus 1 raised to the power n and minus 3 is divisible by 2 to the power n minus 3. At first sight, uh, one might have no ideas how to solve this, how to prove this, because we know nothing about this number, and uh, this number is no, not better than this one. But using congruence modular n, but not this n, but congruence modular to the power of n minus 3, so this is our, uh, in some sense, new n. So using modular congruence, we can say that 2 to the power of n minus 1 is congruent to 2 modular 2 to the power of n minus 3. Well, indeed, if we subtract uh, 2 from 2 to the power of n minus 1, we'll obtain 2 to the power, two to the power of n minus 3. So this is an obvious statement, but if we raise both sides to the power of n to the power of n minus 1 raised to the power of n will be congruent to 2 to the power of n modular the same integer because because earlier we proved that uh, multiplication uh, we say makes friends with with uh, congruence uh, modular integer so raising to the power n is actually multiplying n times the number by itself so uh, then we simply subtract 3 from both sides minus 3 and we will obtain that 2 to the power of n minus 1 raised to the power of n and minus 3 is congruent is congruent to 2 to the power of n minus 3 which is obviously congruent to 0 where all of these congruences are meant modular to the power of n minus 3. Thus, since this number is congruent to 0, then it is divisible by to the power of n minus 3. So, not knowing anything about this number and of course about this number, we can prove that one of them is divisible by another using congruence modular the one that is over here. The one that the other should be divisible by the first one. Another example. <clears throat> Let's consider once again an arbitrary integer n, a positive integer, but this time we will assume that it is odd, not divisible by 2. And also suppose that we have integers a and b such that a plus b is divisible by n. And now consider the fraction a to the power of n plus b to the power of n divided by a plus b. 
And the task is to prove that this fraction is not only an integer, but an integer divisible by n. Well, first of all, uh, let's try to prove that it is an integer. It's not so obvious. But since n is odd, then we know that a formula holds a to the power of n plus b to the power of n is equal to a plus b multiplied by a to the power n minus 1 minus and a to the power n minus 2b plus a to the power n minus 3b square minus and we see that these signs change every time minus plus mi plus minus plus minus and so on and since uh, n is odd the last someone in this parenthesis here will be will have sign plus and will be equal to b to the power n minus 1. So indeed uh, the numerator of this fraction is divisible by its denominator and the fraction itself is equal to this expression here. So all we need to do is prove that this expression here is divisible by n. What else do we know? Oh, so we know that a plus b is divisible by m. But how? How to use this divisibility when dealing with such an expression? And congruence modular n will help us. From here it follows that a Mm, is congruent to minus b modular n and then we can simply substitute every a with minus b in this expression here if we consider it modular n. Uh, if you like you can substitute b by minus a. Uh, I think that indeed substituting b by minus a would be a bit, just a bit more convenient. So let's say that b is congruent to minus a modular n, but it doesn't really matter. You can use either of them. So uh, this expression here is congruent modular n to a to the power n minus 1 um, minus a to the power n minus 2 and we substitute b by minus a plus a to the power n minus 3 minus a to the power 2 minus and so on and what do we see here uh, what do we have here this is simply equal just not, not, not just congruent, but equal to a to the power n minus 1 minus multiplied by minus gives plus a to the power n minus 1 and once again a to the power n minus 1 and so on. So it is simply equal to a to the power n minus 1 multiplied by the number of summons in this expression. And we see that the degrees of uh, a change from n minus 1 to 0 and degrees of b change from 0 to n minus 1. So we understand that there are exactly n summons in this expression. So multiplied by n and this is obviously congruent to zero modular n. Therefore, the original expression is congruent to zero modular n, thus divisible by n, and this is what we wanted to prove.